All right, you guys, we are back really quick. Um, I just put out a video on how to separate your game audio from your microphone audio whenever you're using OBS. And I just thought that it might be helpful if you guys also have some of the filters that I use for my microphone audio. So of course we've got OBS. Again, please forgive the inception. I'll do my best to make this easy for you guys to follow along with. But in order to go ahead and add some filters to your mic, you're gonna go down to your microphone and click on the gear icon. From there, you're going to go ahead and head on over to filters. And then these are some of the ones that I've got. I would start in this order from top to bottom. Um, if you want to add some gain, you can go ahead and do that. Of course, you click on uh, the plus icon to add more things. We've got your gain right here. Uh, add that. And uh, you usually don't have to mess with this. I really haven't had to mess with it in the past. I think it's actually pretty good. But if you need to add some gain to your, to your microphone and your microphone doesn't have something that you can add on to it automatically, you can go ahead and do it this way. You can just slide uh, either more or less, whatever it is that you like. Now I'm gonna set this back to zero, hopefully, maybe, maybe not. You can also go ahead and click on here and switch those numbers around. So we've got our gain. Uh, I've also got a compressor here, which I, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I don't know a whole bunch about what this does. I just know that it works for me. You may want to go ahead and play with a couple of the numbers, but this has worked for me just fine. So again, press the plus button, add a compressor, and then go ahead and copy these. Again, I have not messed with these in years, so I completely forget what they do. I just know this is what works best for me. You can also go ahead and add a noise gate. This I have played around with. I think that minus 32 and 26 seem to work best for me. You can go ahead and copy these. And then we've also got noise suppression, which for me, uh, under 20 seems to be the best thing. What this is gonna do is just remove the background noise. Uh, I live in Texas, it's really, really hot here. And um, the best thing for us to do is have window units. So my AC is always on. There's always a lot of background noise, though I don't think that you guys can hear it. And that's because of this suppression right here. So I've brought mine down to minus 20. That seems to bring your mic audio all the way down whenever you're not talking. And then whenever you start talking, you can go ahead and pick up your audio just fine. So these are some of the settings that um, I have for the microphone that I use. Uh, hopefully it helps you guys out. I'll go through these once again, just so that you guys can go ahead and copy them if you want. We've got noise suppression at minus 20. We've got our noise gate at minus 32 and minus 26. And then you can uh, copy these. Although I think these might already be there for you whenever you go ahead and add this. We've also got our compressor. Once again, it's been a long time since I've messed around with compressor. I don't even know what this stuff means. Go ahead, copy it just the way that I've got it. Seems to work pretty good. And then the gain you can go ahead and add, though I don't think you'll have to add or subtract anything to it. But if your mic audio is really low, you can go ahead and add this to increase your audio levels. So hopefully that helps you guys out. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Again, if you guys would not mind, we're trying to get to 10,500 subscribers by the end of the year. And we'll explain why that is in some other video. But uh, hopefully this helped you guys out. If it did, um, I guess subscribe and I love your faces. Be awesome. Stay safe. The world's going crazy and I don't know what to do about it. So just take care of yourselves and I'll see you guys next time.